there's more yuppies in the area because there's more money around and there's less children. Um, everyone seems these days to want to have a dog rather than have a kid. And you, you think that's a bad thing? <laughs> oh, no, I think it's a fantastic thing because I myself don't have a kid but I've got a cat because I had such a, a shit of a father that I just decided that I would, would not be a very good role model so I decided I'd rather have a cat than have a kid. Do you think it's a, maybe a, an expression of their own selfishness to a certain extent? Absolutely no and I really don't like that word selfishness when you're talking about not having children, not wanting to have children. It's a full-time job, it's not a part-time career. The best thing that ever happened when I was nursing was that people had case managers and case managers were allowed to follow their clients up. People with psychiatric conditions are not getting their medication and they're being left to sleep on the streets unmedicated. How do you find uh, Australia compared to where you're from and where are you from? Basically that's why I'm here. I love Australia. I, I find the people so warming you know, and welcoming and you're so nice and smiling all the time. So it's really easy to live here. Like, really laid back. I find it very funny because I can relate more to my Judaism in Australia than in Israel. I don't know why, you know? Do you think it's part of sort of your discovery of yourself that you sort of travel around the world? I really do think that, yeah, I really do think that. And what, what have you learned about yourself so far? I find myself strong yet emotional. I found myself, uh, I know what I am, I, I'm, I'm, I know what I'm capable of, and I know what I'm not capable of, which is more important, I think. Do you, do you see that there's a great need for psychologists in Australia at the moment? Um, I honestly do not know. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Well, sorry, what was the question? Was good. What's your favourite drink in a bar? Favourite drink? Oh, probably have to be Cosmopolitan, yeah. yeah. What's in that one? Like lemon, lime, and bitter. Cosmopolitan, I think cranberry juice? A vodka? Not sure, but no. it's I don't know. I think it's mid The economic meltdown in uh, around the world. What's happening there? We are here. What? <laughs> What's the best nightclub around here? Across maybe Dragonfly? Yes. I think the government should stop all these parking tickets everywhere. <laughs> the amount of money I've spent in the past month on parking tickets is ridiculous. Have you ever thought about getting your nails done? Fingernails? Yes. Um, yeah, actually. I'm a piano player and so I tend to look after them. Yeah. But I've never actually, no, never done it. Are you, uh, do you play professionally at the moment? Uh, where do you want to start? <laughs> um, when I was young I went to Vietnam and toured Vietnam playing for the Yankees, the Yankee troops. Um, a bit later I uh, toured England, Scotland, Wales, you know, a couple of times. Do you see any similarities with uh, what's, what's happening uh, in Australia today, like going into Afghanistan and Iraq? Do you see any similarities to Vietnam? Oh, right. Oh, golly. No, that was a whole different ball game, really, wasn't it? The French had been in there before, and then the Viet Cong came down. Well, it was similar because, you know, they had a puppet Yankee government. I get my new teeth next week. <laughs> so how come? Uh, well, they were all buggered, or jiggered. Um, a whole group of my friends got together, unbeknownst to me, and raised a whole bunch of money, organised with this dentist um, who was going to do it sort of like half price because they're the ones doing the paying. So I'm a very happy chappy, um, having had pretty crook teeth for quite a while. I used to think it was Agent Orange, actually, from Vietnam, it made them all fall out. The whole idea, like, oh, that you travel around with the Yankee troops and played in uh, in oh, Vietnam, yeah. is that something that still sort of uh, plays on your mind, or that that, that oh, you sort it was of an very incredible experience? I must say, I was only 20 years old. I just missed the call up about 69, I think, that year um, in May. They pulled the uh, odd number out of the hat, so everybody had an odd number. They got called up for the armed um, services, and if you had an even number like me, didn't actually. When they first asked, I had no idea where we were going, you know, they just said oh, overseas, good money, and then when we got up to Sydney, to the agency, and I said, oh, well, you're going to Vietnam, boys. Of course, it was an American agency, so we just played the Yanks. The only Aussies we saw the whole time were there um, were a couple of mercenaries we met in Saigon. <laughs>